Fuck that. Hello. Welcome. How's everybody doing this, uh, this fine evening? I assume you're watching this during the evening. I'm not running at a hundred percent in terms of resolution. I, I see some, some crustiness and speaking of crust. Anyways, this is a game called like, I think it's Greenwater, a chair in a room, a uh, horror VR experience. It was gifted to me by a friend. Been sitting on it for a while. I was kind of waiting for, you know, October to swing around before playing it. That speaker up there already talked to me a little bit. It was just a woman saying, get comfortable in the room. Everything you need to know is in here. How your body works. You got the brain, you got the eyes, you got the sniffer and you got the liquor. This isn't what I thought it was gonna be. I thought this was gonna be one of those like you're, you have to play it seated and you don't even have hands. But surprise, surprise, I have hands and I don't need to be seated. You must be from the press and Dr. Green. Welcome to the Institute. I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. Why don't you come with me? I'll just take this patient up to the top floor. Whatever you say, ma'am. They're under an arms. It keeps our patients more complex. But what if I want to remove it? I'm always calm. You don't need to drug me up. Some of these patients can be quite unstable. A chair in a room. Green water. Quite the intro, huh? Chapter 1, The Hospital, November 2013. I remember that year. A lot of crazy shit happened in 2013. I'm glad I'm not living in 2013 anymore. Is it on? Are we recording? I am. November the 13th, the patient number is 6079. We are going to try a cognitive response test today. All you have to do is listen to the words I read out and visualize the meaning. Your progress will be monitored through the sensors on your headset. I know this is uncomfortable, but please do not remove the equipment. <laughs> Ball. Swan. Screwdriver. Mm-hmm. Box. Mm-hmm. Boy. Boy. Medication. Mm. Fork. Yeah. Mirror. Oh, me. Lamp. Oh, it's bright. Toy. Oh, I love toys. Photograph. Ooh, who is it? Confession. Uh-oh. Fuse. Hmm. That's Genesis. a weird one. Genesis. Paradise. Oh. Oh, that's a good one. Negative results. All results show a negative. Did you, did you like have to hold up the microphone to feedback? Do you know why you're here? I don't know if I actually gave a response by shaking my head, but if I did, neato. Patient 6079, please come to the window for your medication. Hello. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Fun times. To 
Today you will perform simple memory tests. In front of you is a ball and three cups. Mm -hmm. I would like you to hide the ball under any of the cups, move it around, and reveal the ball. I will observe your progress. I will find a way to fuck this up for myself. Yeah, good progress. Good progress. Please complete the task. I am working on it. What do you see? Well, that's not a ball. Huh, it's a magic spider. I see a spider. What the hell's that? Here. Got it. Hold on. Keep that there. Uno momento. I need to see what this thing is over here. Honey, do you recognize the postcard? We all came out of the lodge. It's just shut up. I'm reading. I, what is the beeping? Do I am I out of sight of the camera? Hold on. I remember the lodge. It's just how I remember it. So peaceful, but it's just not the same without you. I hope you're holding up okay. We should all come back when you get home. Whoa. Uh. Is that a child? Uh, what happened here? Okay, I heard that. You're gonna start really fucking with me, aren't you? The hell's getting so loud? Jesus! I was just about- I don't know, watching a chair get possessed. What are you doing? Yeah, I think I could use a little bit of that. I was just about to grab that and take a seat in it. What if I don't? Fine. Ah. The demons have gone away. You can go back to your room now. Time for my midday two second demon possession. That's gonna help. Is this the burble? Origami. I don't like that tone. Where? Okay, I have seen chairs just like this before in real life. I just don't remember where. Just a chunk of metal. So what I don't get, it seems like I'm real nutty and possibly a danger to myself and others. Why would you put me in a room with this? You understand what I'm saying here? I could go ape shit and break so much stuff, including my bones. Do not attempt to actually use the toilets. I like this. Oh, are these some of the words that she was saying to me? Swan. Yep, 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 yep. It's all here. It all checks out. That's fine. That happens all the time. Nothing to worry about. Just let me get over there and fix that right up. Good as new. The temptation to wreak havoc with this chair is strong, but I shall resist for now. Oh my God, just, oh my God. I just need you to stay, r stop freaking out. Stay right there. Okay, what? All right, cool. I like how interactive everything is. This is nice. It's really hard to see this. Resolution has been toned down considerably and with the blurriness of headsets, it's not helping. No, 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 no. Okay, the biggest puzzle of this game is just getting the doors to shut. Hmm. That should have been obvious, huh? This is everything I can remember. I have to hide what I know. The doctors say that memories haunt me, so I hide this from them. The things here seem familiar. There must be a trigger. If I am a murderer, who did I kill? I remember a bird on the water. What was it? Place the clue here. Ah, oh, yes, the drugs are kicking in. You can carry items in between rooms. All right, that's good to know. Well, that was a short chapter. This is probably a short game. <gasps> More postcards. Oh, that's not good. All right. Uh, 
I assume that'll become useful later on. Can I please just set something down without it like falling over? I guess not. I guess I'm just destined for things to fall over. Wait, can I break this? Oh, <gasps> yes, that is exciting. 10 out of 10. Oh, here we go. And press thumbstick. Oh man, you're asking a tall order for these index controllers with their shitty sticks, but hey, got it to work. So, catastrophic storm on the way. People have been advised to leave homes. Greenwater Institute will be offering shelter and emergency supplies to those who are most in need. Time to cut a bitch. Well, I can't break this bottle, huh? This one's too strong. Are you kidding? Just, just stay, just stay upright. It's not hard. Ah! Good. Okay, I can break it. I just can't be holding it while it breaks. I fixed it. That's not you talking, is it? Don't. Screwdriver. I didn't really get to see what that was. It looked like maybe a skull? Cause I don't know what eye you guys are seeing through, so you probably didn't even see anything at all. So dove, screwdriver. Yeah, it was a skull. Oh, hold on. Allow me to use my big brain much better. Sorry, I have to do something. It's just in my nature. Is that a pizza box? Yes, it is. Nice physics, honestly, like, wow. I'm impressed I, I can do that. Let me get my reading glasses out. It's real hard to see this stuff. Yeah, whatever, fuck it. And I need to hold my hand with my other hand so it doesn't shake while I read this. At the Greenwater Institute, we offer care and security for those poor souls deemed dangerous to themselves or others. Like I was saying, if I'm dangerous to myself or others, why did you put me in a room with a giant metal chair? Someone you know going goddamn bonkers? Send them here! Beware. That's so close to my goddamn head. Ah, it's just a rat, who cares? Girl bar, classic. Like how accurately do I need to do this myself? Well, I need to pry something open. So I got a wrench, that might be important. I have no idea. There was also pliers. <sighs> okay. I guess, I guess I just needed to look down, huh? Ah! Bones. All right, come on, big brain. There's nothing left in there. I just need to put something down in there. What about plant? That floats well. I guess plant wasn't important. All right, process of elimination. What here is a key item? I guess the saw wasn't important. What about this wrench? I mean, if that responds, it's gonna be in the other room. Wait, did that wrench come back? No, wrench was not a key item. Well, I don't, I don't know what I was hoping would happen there, but I can't exactly reach down here. Unless... Huh? Well, there certainly is a thing down here. Whoa. Medical supplies. It was so easy. I just had to peek my head through the floor. before that. Oh, okay. It's gonna grab the light, but you're already two steps ahead of me. 
Huh, <sighs> okay, I thought that was like a giant mannequin. Okay, goodbye. What's with the war hammers? Spooky graveyard. <laughs> Are we in the Halloween spirit yet? Jesus saves. Blind faith will not make you see. That is a low poly church. I wouldn't believe their teachings. Trish. There's like conflicting music happening right now. I'm not sure how to feel about it. That's a water tower about to fall over. That's actually kind of spoopy. I don't like that. Don't you move. Dude, this is really intense music. Don't rock the boat, don't rock the boat, baby. 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 What? That's a, what? Jesus Christ, what was that? It sounds like gun sh gunfire, it's so loud. Rock the boat, rock the boat, baby. Rock the boat, don't rock the boat, baby. What's that? What's that? Jesus. We sacrificed, he sacrificed himself for you. Stop, it's so loud. Yeah, where's the jump scare? Put him up, I'm ready to fight. Uh. Why did we stop here of all places? Uh. Oh! Okay. I just needed to look at that in my good old trusty chair. <laughs> Who was the teenager in the water? Who else was out there? What was the bird by the highway? Don't do the spooky music yet, I haven't even tried this one. Stork? Pelican Motel. <laughs> Loud. Uh. Oh. Uh, I don't know what they're doing with my perspective right now, but it- it- this? Is not how you keep the VR users comfortable. I don't like the way you're making everything look a little woozy. Yeah, that's gonna fuck with my eyes a lot. Thanks. Um, pills. Oh. I guess that's all I needed to do there, huh? What a horrendously uncomfortable looking match. I don't like this room. Go out the door again? It's looking a little fucked up again. Need some midnight milk. Oh, God. Oh, well, I took it. It's getting a little brighter in here now. Drugs make your life brighter. Okay. <laughs> Not enjoying that. I don't like it when sounds get progressively louder. It makes me a violent drunk. There's gonna be like a demon sitting on the bed. Ha! Fuck that. Oh, fuck everything about this. 
God damn. Please don't. Please don't. I'm upset. I'm upset. He's enjoying this way too much. Fuck you. Uh, <sighs> yep, okay. Just as I thought. A horror game in VR is... Mm, mm, mm. I can't move forward. You know what that means, folks. I have to turn around. <sighs> Let me just do a quick prayer. My expectations. My expectations, though. My expectations, though. I need drugs. It's becoming clearer. It's a blonde woman! investigation after the body of an unidentified young man was found in a rural area of the Greenwater Swamps this morning. The exact cause of death is yet to be established, but a police spokesperson has confirmed that the victim suffered multiple injuries, and it is still unclear if the victim drowned in the swamp or if he was killed before entering the water. Police are investigating an unusual theme park swan boat which was found close to the victim's body and are looking for any information about a figure seen using the boat in the early hours of this morning. The boat's using me. Sources say that officers have cordoned off a number of derelict premises in the area and are now widening their search to cover residential and business premises to find further information. Reports from the area have suggested that an abandoned holiday lodge irreparably damaged in the storms of 2005 may be linked to the investigation, but spokespersons for the police would not comment on this claim. Good evening! Um. Sorry, I broke all the bottles. I'm sorry. Don't take the light away from me, please. No more drugs. We're at the Pelican Motel now. We need to check every room one by one. Start at the end of that row, and I'll make sure that no one tries to slip away. I got a fork. Try to bust here and here, buddy. You're gonna regret it. I've got a bent as fuck fork. Enter three digits and use the forward button to confirm. I need to find a code, huh? What I remember, I write down. Well, do you remember the code? If so, have you written it down somewhere? A piece of shit can't be far. Well, no. You're not wrong. In fact, I'm staring at your ass right now. I can't really see it, but I'm gonna assume it's nice, because I, like be I like being positive and optimistic. An optimist. I'm just going to be optimistic about the, uh, sexual allure of your ass. Why is the bathroom locked from the inside? Uh, good question. Excuse me, officer, can you help me with this? Please? Make a fist and press your thumb. The back of your hand will guide the way. Bathroom lock can be turned with a tool. I'm glad it doesn't just outright give it away. So a tool, huh? Oh, the fork. I'm an idiot. The first thing I found in the room. Oh, um, might need the flashlight for this one. Just one minute, officer.
Okay, that did a whole lot of nothing. There's gotta be something here. Three, two, zero. Well, that was obvious, wasn't it? Should have just left. I should have just left. Why did I look? Three two zero, right? That's what it was. Good job. Okay. That's a lot of reading. Wait for me in the lodge. Add. Uh, Dead end, bruv. Did he want me to go there? I don't know, did he? Does he? Oh. I remember the lodge. We know you're in there. You better come out by the time I count to ten. One. Two. Three. I'm afraid I can't. Four. God, he's so loud. Six. Seven. Eight. I have a white t-shirt, don't fuck with me. Nine. Ten. Man, I got arrested. <sighs> Did the dead guy give me the Bible? Why the lodge? Why me? There was a bird. One who preys on the weakness of others? I did it. That looks so uncomfortable. Dr. Green has been called away to another part of the hospital. Please wait in here and do not touch anything. We'll be just outside. Well, you should have said something sooner. I work very fast. Eyes. More eyes. Uh, wings? Bottom drawer bust. Remove top drawer to access maintenance. So can I just yank this out? Oh. What do you know? Brute force is the answer. So I got that. I got that. Do you not understand? Stay here. Says you. Sorry, my crowbar wanted to make music. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, that's blood. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. All right. That was cool. I'm not sorry. Maybe a little bit. Because I don't need that anymore. I wasn't supposed to take that thing with me, was I? That little light would have been helpful. Uh, wait. Okay. Yeah, no. No thanks. Absolutely no thanks. Can I just talk about how much I don't like this? No. No. Is it one of those goddamn monkeys? S 
Oh, it's the crocodile. I don't like this. This really sucks. I want out of here. Please, dear God. Okay. What? Why? Why is rattlesnakes here? Hold on. Hold on. I didn't put those heads in there reversed. Not that I want them looking at me or anything like that, but you know. Is this just straight up like a... Oh, you changed. You're different now. Is this just a horror segment? Oh, it's one of these things. It's missing a battery. Uh... So... About that. Hey, you have a battery. I need you to give me the bat. Stop. Really? Speed. I need a tool or something to pry it out. I need that. Don't you look at me. Don't you look at me. Yeah, he's looking at me. Speed. You're making the music glitch up, bud. You need to quit. Your your spin is too strong. Oh. Well, it was as easy as just taking it from a baby, huh? <sighs> Boy, that was dumb. Oh. God! That's no good. You got batteries. Work? Do I need to find a tape? Wait, what? Stop that, you little shit. What the fuck? What was the point of putting the battery in this thing? <sighs> <sighs> too dumb for this shit, and I'm too chicken. No idea what I'm doing. Slide it into the first one for 10 seconds, second one, five seconds, and then third for another five seconds. 10, five, five. Okay. Oh, hey. Well, I've been doing this for a while, huh? New identities, new lives. What is my identity? What was my life? The bird I remember is part of my murder. Is part of a murder. <sighs> yep. Controller just is not working. Let me turn it off and turn it back on. I think it's a software issue though. I might have to just end up ordering a left index controller to fix this because this this thing got fu it was fucked up out of the box. Really pissed me off. That might help for a little while, but we'll see. Safe lock. Well, this is claustrophobic. Are you a sinner, child? You bet. Here. You wanna know more? Show me who you are. Bring me the image of your sins, and I may have repentance for you. I guess Yours that ain't it. is the forbidden fruit. Take the Holy Bible back where it belongs. Up my ass? Bring me your sins. Dude, you sound like you get off on sins. Got it. I was an idiot. As usual. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this already. Okay, that's better. Fuse. That was one of the things she said. Oh, that's, that's lovely. Well, I know I need to do something with the fuse, I guess. 
or I could just reach out. What falls from the tree of knowledge? That. Oh, there's more to confess. Bring me your evil. <sighs> Drugs? An apple from the tree of knowledge. You want to know more? Why are you here? Which memory are you chasing? Tell me, who did you follow into the swamp? A child or a man? I do not know, but thanks for the key. Is that a cigarette lighter? Huh. And it's devil branded. Hi, Snake. Well, I need the fuse. Search deeper. This is not your guilt. I'm searching, and it be deep. Wait, I kind of want my uh, lighter back. Okay. Yeah, I cannot press on the stick and get this to light up. It's just broken. It's so broken. My my left index controller is just pretty much busted. It was busted out of the box. Oh boy. I can't handle it. <sighs> Beware. You came for me. I tried to see you, but they stopped me. Wait for me in the lodge. I'm at the Institute. I'll run away again, please. Okay. Sorry, I had to be a puss for a bit and take my headphones off because again, increasingly loud noises. Can't handle it. Am I supposed to bring one of these back to the priest? Hi. Okay, a little late on the jump scare. Appreciate you if you would stop flickering. Did you like it? Okay. Okay, it's fucking great, man. It's good talk. I've learned a lot today. Am I literally just supposed to like chill out here, listen to sad music and contemplate? Filling up my hard drive with video I don't need. I did. I just, I had to wait. All right. There's not a whole lot of room left on this thing, so I might almost be done. Played for the fool, some I loved but never really knew. To remember, I must not eat the fruit the serpent gave me. Don't take the drugs. The hospital. One a day, I keep visions away, but here I am. Still envisioning all sorts of bullshit. That's me right now, that's how I feel. Do you remember anything? Um, I remember that voices used to come out of speakers, which I do not see. I ain't taking that. Alright, it's time to go bonkers. Time to go absolute bonkers. Yeah, here we go. Hell yeah, man. You look good. You using a new kind of facial wash, or? What I remember, I write down. Oh. Oh, that's fascinating, isn't it? Oh god. Anything. You remember me wrong. Do you remember anything? 
Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Sorry, gotta remove the headphones. Yeah, thank God. Good. Out on the water at night. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I remember that I don't like to shut up, bitch. I'm upset. I'm so not happy about this. So loud. It's so loud. Oh. Well, this is fascinating. That's when the card was burning. Goddamn explosion. Let's start recording. Today's date, November 14th. Patient number 6079. Let's run the cognitive tests again. Your progress will be monitored through the sensors on your headset. I know this is uncomfortable, but bear with me. Listen to the words I read out and visualize the meaning. I'm not doing this again. Ball. Swan. Screwdriver. Box. Boy. Boy. Okay, I got it. I did something wrong. I'll admit, didn't follow along very well. Confirm that the patient is showing signs of memory. The patient understands. Please wait outside. I need to spend some time with the patient. That sounds seductive. I know that you understand why you're here. You came here looking for your brother, but it had been so long he had already forgotten you. When you got back, he saw the newspapers. He recognized the hero, missing in action. I saw it in him. A tiny spark that triggered something from a lifetime ago. He held on as that spark flickered. He held on as it began to illuminate the things he'd long since forgotten. You killed him by making him remember. The only past he knew is this institution. It's all he should have remembered. We saw when he tried to contact you. We saw that he wasn't prepared to forget as he abandoned the second chance that I gave him. After the storm, he was one of the vulnerable left to fend for themselves. One of the children lost in a system which doesn't have enough money to provide for them. All too often they end up back where they started. Earning however they can and persistently, they bring more lives into the very system that has already failed them. I could break that cycle by offering him and others a clean start, away from this swamp, away from their past. You came here, the war hero back from the dead. You brought the media to find what was left of your family. It was you who put my work here under the spotlight. And it was you who left me no other option. By coming here, you killed your brother. The media didn't take long to turn on a survivor turned murderer. The worst kind of monster. One incapable of accepting their own actions. One who was safer here than anywhere else. I feel sorry for you. I gave you the chance to forget the loss that you've endured. I have tried to unburden you of the past, 
Why can't you accept that your brother had to be sacrificed? Why is he still a child when he haunts you? I was hoping that you would understand this time. No matter. We can do this again. We've been this far before. Maybe next time you will see. I will keep going until you're willing to forget. I want you to be at peace. Orderlies, come back in here, please. I'd like you to prepare the patient for sedation. What's the problem? Is the door jammed? Don't get loud again. Bitch, I'm psychic. No. No. Oh, he's psychic. Huh. Damn. Epilogue, we're not done. Okay. Can't stop now though. Have to keep going. I feel bad because I, I, I'm kind of confused as to what all is going on. My brother, I killed him. A storm happened. But did I kill him? I killed him by making him remember? Man, I'm just here to get scared. And it's been working. And break things. Human trafficking conspiracy. Yeah. America. Oh, all right. You proud of yourself? Oh, I need to sit down. Oh, yeah. Horror in VR is rough. That's rough, man. That was good, though. That was real good. It didn't rely too heavily on jump scares. There was a few in there, but uh, for the most part, that was just really well done. Scared the piss out of me a couple of times. And all you got to do in VR is just like put something close to you when you turn around, you know, just like any kind of human figure. Getting close to you is just the worst thing in the world. Oh shit. Cool, so there's a chapter select. This is a whole new thing. Uh, I'm good. Where is the menu? Why is there no menu? I don't need a menu to quit. All right, everybody. Sorry if, like, I just didn't follow that as closely as everybody else, but my brain is big dumb right now. I really shouldn't record after a long day, but I got the itch to just play some games and record and whatnot. Don't know how good this is gonna be, but I'm sure seeing me get the poop scared out of me is gonna be fun for some people out there, so. Thanks for watching. Until next time, all of you need to stay beautiful. See ya.